If you're building a print-on-demand business and you're looking for a partner that does all the printing, packaging, and shipping for you, is located in the United States and sending all of their products from one location, offers gift sets, and also will upload a picture of the product before it goes out, you're gonna love this. Today, we're diving into Printonic, which is a new print-on-demand platform that checks every single one of those boxes. After showing you all of the cool products in their catalog in my prior video, I heard you loud and clear a tutorial was needed. And so today, I'm gonna show you how to set up an account, how to pick your products, how to link that to your actual shop, whether that be Etsy or Shopify, and how to go live with your first listing. So let's just take a minute uh, to review why I think Printonic is a good option for you to check out. I talk a lot on my channel about how doing something different and being first to market is likely an easier way to penetrate into print on demand. We can definitely create Christmas designs and we can create holiday designs, but those are not always going to be the things that people are wanting. The things that people want are going to be gifts. And so having a gift set print on demand is new. It's different. It is the exclusive offering of Printonic. And so being that that is something different that all of us could utilize is great. And if you're watching this video, you are ahead of probably 99.9% .9 of the rest of the internet because this is brand new and is just now starting. And while the platform is brand new, I do want to give some confidence here that the business owners of Printonic are not new to the print on demand game. They have ran a long time print on demand candle business for years. That business is called Lumiant. I have reviewed them on my channel before. I'll link that here. Their products are on Printify as well. So they have plenty of experience with their own businesses coming into this. I love this option, A, because of the gift sets and offering something that is exclusive and different that has never been able to be done as print on demand before. But additionally, their platform is completely free to set up and create your account and play around with it. And they ship everything from Southern California. So it all comes out of one shipping facility, which is really great from a quality perspective too. And their shipping is quick. They note here that they'll ship everything within 24 to 72 hours. Obviously Q4 is upon us. So that may change just going into high seasonality, but they're really focusing on quality and they're tracking every step of your order through production. So that way you can be kept in the loop on where your product is. It's not just going to go all the way from the orders in place to now it's shipped. It will go through different stages and you will get confirmation of that. They will also give you a photo of what is shipped out so we can ensure that what is going to our customers is actually the right type of product. In order to get started, you're just going to go on their landing page, printonic.com. I'll drop that in the description below and you're going to hit get started for free. From there, you're just gonna put in your information and hit create account. After you do that, you'll see this little confirmation tag that says, thank you for registering. And it's gonna ask you to go to your email to confirm your email. Once you confirm your email and log in, you will be taken to the dashboard. That is pretty bare bones. This is everything that they offer right now. And so it keeps it really simple to understand what we need to do. We can see my stores and this is where we'll end up connecting our stores. We'll also see the catalog. Eventually my products is where your products will go. Orders is where all of your orders will go when they start coming in. And uh, we have some branding options and some billing options. So let's walk through each of these. First step you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your store and they keep it very simple. So you'll just hit new store here and then you'll choose if it's gonna be Etsy or Shopify. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna go with Etsy, but the Shopify creation is very easy as well. The naming convention here is just for your own understanding. You can link multiple different Etsy and Shopify stores to one Printonic account. So keep that in mind. And this is more for uh, what you want to name it. And then you'll hit connect store. From there, you'll be taken over to the single sign-on for Etsy where you will have to just sign in to your Etsy and give permission for Printonic to access your Etsy account. So once you're signed in and you scroll down, you basically just have to say grant access. From there, you'll be taken back over to Printonic and you will see now that your little shop is connected as easy as that. So you can go through that same flow for additional stores as well. From there, you're gonna go over to the catalog and this is where you're gonna wanna spend a lot of time digesting, understanding what they offer. How could this fit into the business that you already have? If you're thinking to launch a business, how would these price points make sense for your business? and start to consider the things that you want to launch for your own brand. One thing I will note here is that Printonic is not going to be the lowest price on the market for most of the products that they're offering. And the reason that is, is for all the pieces that I mentioned at the beginning of this video, they are located in the United States, they ship everything within a shorter time window, and they offer this customer service that is unparalleled to what we've seen so far with print on demand. All of that is gonna come at a little bit of a premium. So keep that in mind of how that might fit with the vision that you have for your business. Obviously the thing that I have been very vocal about that I'm most excited about is going to be the gift sets, but they have a ton of different opportunities across accessories, apparel, candles, drinkware, and the gift sets. A lot of these are differentiated from what we see in the market today. And so I'm excited to get a better understanding of what products you are all thinking about launching 
feel free to drop a comment on the product that is most exciting to you. I'm loving a lot of their keychain options here too that I don't see through other print providers. But for the purpose of today, I wanna to get a gift set set up. I love them so much and they have a little bit of a different flow because we actually have to add two different designs for several of these different products. So I'm just gonna click on the 11 ounce clear candle and mug gift set with the match sticks. From here, you can drill down into some additional details about the product. You can see that for this bundle, it will be about $28 for you to ship this to a customer. So start thinking about profitability. We know that gift sets are able to be sold at a premium because there's that perceived value of having multiple pieces in a kit, but ensure that you are understanding this price point. So when you go to list your product, you're putting in an appropriate margin that makes sense for still being able to make profit after any type of fees that you might incur through your platform. So within the bundle, you're gonna get four different products. You're gonna get the mug, you're gonna get the candle, the matches, as well as this little crochet coaster. And they make it very clear when we're about to add the product, what are sizes are that are needed for the design files. So you can see here on the right side, we have the candle file requirements and the mug file requirements. So once you know that those are the correct file sizes, you can just create your designs to match those so they stick perfectly on the products when we go to add the products. So let's do that. When we add the product, you're gonna be given a couple of options to select your variations. For here, since they have multiple different scents offered for the wax, you can choose to include all of them or just a few, but obviously I'm gonna include all of them. After we hit continue, that's will be taken to the place where we can put in our files. So what I've done in Kittle is I've just designed a couple of different things for this bundle. One is gonna be the candle label that says, smells like she's reading intellectual and profound literature again, romanticy. And then I've just created this customized design with all these fun little graphics that could be customizable for somebody's name to be added onto the mug. It's gonna download those so they're ready to upload onto Printonic. So once I've downloaded those, I can come back over to Printonic and drop them in first for the mug. You'll see that the mug design pops in there and it gives you the green light of it looks good. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the candle. Artwork also looks good. From there, you can see that it's kind of thinking and it is applying those designs and it will spit out some mock-ups for you to use as well. So it's done exactly that it has spit out a mock-up keep in mind here that you'll probably want to do some different positioning once you know what the mock-up looks like for this instance the text is actually on the other side so i'm going to download that and reshift it so it actually shows up here in the mock-up when they would hold it as such so now i'm going to go back over to my mug design i'm going to hit replace and add in the new one that i just cropped to make the mock-up look more realistic and what they would actually find appealing for a product and i'm happier with the placement of that text and i'm liking the way that it's looking for like a cute little gift set that's personalizable, still funny, still niche, because now we've crossed niched in the romanticy book lover niche with actually personalization and just book lovers in general. So I'm loving that as a concept and there's still some tweaking I can do, but so cool that all within one single listing, this would be shipped. You know the pricing, it has four different items included, completely different than what I've ever seen with print on demand. It's first out to the market. From there, you can just hit continue. Now we can go through to actually build the listing. It's up to you on whether you would want to do all of your edits for SEO additions within the Printonic platform, or if you'd want to do that in Etsy. It is my preference to do most of that in Etsy, but I will go ahead and add in a few details just so the title is appropriate um, and I'm clear on what this product actually is. So I'm just gonna call it the Romanticy Book Lover Set. I will go ahead and tweak all this on Etsy, but I will leave it as is for now. I use AI to generate a lot of my descriptions and ask AI to make them SEO optimized. So that's what I will end up doing for here. From a listing price perspective, we saw that this product is gonna be about $28 all included to ship. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and list this right now for 50, but that might change depending on offering a sale price. Um, if I wanna drop that price a little bit lower for initially kicking off this product, but that would give me around that like 45% profit margin without thinking about additional fees or different marketing, which is comfortable. And I think is definitely doable for a listing like this. When we go over to Etsy, we can see that for a candle, that's gonna easily cost over $20 um, just standalone. And then for a mug, that's gonna cost at least 15 to $20, um, including potentially some shipping included there too. This is personalized. This has the additional match set and the coaster and overall just like better experience from a giftability perspective. So I don't think $50 is off. And in fact, I think that we could actually go higher depending on how creative I got with my listing images and some additional mock-ups that I might actually order a sample of and kind of frame together for a cute little video. Um, so there's definitely flexibility there. I'll also select my store, which is the only store here, but just keep that in mind that if you have multiple stores, you could push this to your shop 
Shopify, you can push it to your Etsy across different platforms as well. After you select the store, you're gonna have to select a shipping profile. I, I haven't created a shipping profile for Printonic yet in my Etsy account, which we will do, but for now, I'm just gonna include Lumia and I will go in and I'll set that up momentarily. My processing profile, I'm gonna include the longest one that they offer just because we are approaching Q4. I do think that this product will get out sooner, but it's required to include one. And I'm just gonna make sure that it is a little bit long so I'm not having to update shipping. I think still around four to six days is reasonable, um, but they do have shipping timelines that should be getting out faster than that, which is exciting. And then lastly, you have the option to add tags into the platform. I'm not gonna add them directly in the platform. I will do those over in Etsy. So from there, I can just hit continue. Here is just your final a little check of all the details that you've added in to make sure that you're putting it into the right store. You've inputted in all the information that you feel comfortable with. Once you do, you just hit publish product. Once this turns pink, that means it should be pushing over to your Etsy profile and will be in your draft. So let's check to make sure that, that is the case. And there it is. I popped over to my Etsy account. I'm in my drafts and I can see that the product is pulling in. It only has the one image, so obviously we'll have some work to do to create additional mock-ups of the photos, going into Canva or Kittle and creating different value propositions, some different value propositions that I love to show in my mock-up photos and in my listing images is going to be fast shipping, crafted in the United States, crafted in Southern California, reviews. If you have reviews on not just this product, but on your shop, you can include a couple of those different reviews on a product image as well. And you can also do like a fragrance guide as well that includes notes for all the different candle options that you have for the waxes. And then you would just go through and complete your listing, beefing up your description to have a bunch of SEO optimized language in there, including a lot of the details about what comes in the product. Make it very clear that they get all four of these items in this gift set and add as much like gift set and gift language as you can. That will really help you show up and surface a lot in the gifting time, which we are right in the midst of. And make sure that you're just updating and adding them into your production partners for here. So if you go to create a new uh, shipping category, you just add them as a production partner within this category here too. And you're gonna want to create the shipping option. So that way, if you do want to offer shipping, you can make that very clear in your listing. In my shop now, I typically offer free shipping over $35. If you're wanting to embark upon the gift set category, you may want to rethink that just because the shipping is typically gonna be a little bit more expensive for these bigger products. If you're shipping a t-shirt or you're shipping a single candle, that shipping cost is probably gonna be somewhere around five to eight dollars. Here it's going to be a lot more expensive, especially as we start thinking about these bigger bundles. So if it is interesting to you to move away from the free shipping over $35 and actually put in a shipping cost, this is exactly where you're going to do that. You're going to come in here and create a new shipping profile for Printonic and include this specific product with that like $10 shipping as an option. Keep in mind that whenever you have a shipping fee included, it's sometimes going to be a deterrent for your customers. So if you do offer that shipping fee, potentially consider offering offering it to be a little bit lower, uh, maybe under $10 or maybe even under like $8, especially during the holidays, and just bake that into your overall product price. So that way it still makes sense from an economics perspective. After you finish completing your listing, you can literally push it live. When an order comes in, that will flow directly into Printonic in the orders section, and you'll get updates in here as it goes through the different stages of production. Keep in mind, you're also gonna have to fill out a couple of additional pieces here when it comes to branding and billing. Billing obviously being important, so that way Printonic can charge you. Just make sure you're including your payment methods. In addition to that, there's a branding section where if you want to include a custom return address for if folks send things back, you can include that here. If not, I'm just gonna leave mine set to the Protonic fulfillment address selected. And you can additionally set up a more luxurious option, which is a branded package insert, but there is an additional fee associated with this. So consider that if you are wanting to offer something that is really gorgeous, really high end, it's gonna cost an extra dollar to include that with your orders. But that is it. Those are the steps to being able to create your Printonic account, pick the products that you're wanting to list, design those products and push them live to your Etsy account or to your Shopify account. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to drop them in the questions below. I will do my best to answer every single question. I have a great working relationship with Printonic. They are a partner of mine. And so I will be able to get you the answers to your questions. So do not be shy if there are questions or clarifications that you want. This is a new platform. And so there is likely gonna be some feedback that we can share that will help them make this the most usable 
valuable and amazing experience for business owners like ourselves. If you made it all the way to this point in the video, I would hope that means that you liked the video. And in that case, please like, subscribe, potentially drop that comment. That helps me a ton with being able to show my content to other people like you that are looking to grow their own business. And it allows me to keep doing this every single week. Thank you so much. And I will catch you on the next one.